Um, next, I will be introducing Ms. Joy Atkunda, CEO of Bloom, to come and say a word and share. My name is Joy Atkunda. I am the founder and head content creator at Bloom for Her. I am a YouTuber, a social media influencer and manager. Uh, I do social media management and at Redpoint Media, so my teammates are here. And basically our work is helping people with their personal branding, business branding. We do multicam live streaming, audio production and video content production. So if you need any of that kind of work, you can reach out to Comfort, who's behind that part of Greerpoint Media. So, Bloom for Her, like I say, is a lifestyle blog and YouTube channel that focuses on selected topics that are usually have main key pain points in women's lives. Uh, I am a big follower of different blogs, but most of the blogs that I love and that I have followed have been through in international places, mostly from South Africa, from America and other places all over the world. So I realized in Uganda there wasn't a specific blog that was targeting the women and you know creating content for women specifically in the network. I decided to set up Bloom for Her. A simple history of Bloom for Her. So this idea came to me in 2018 when I was in my second year at university. I went to Macquarie University Business School. Uh, I just finished my studies. I'll be graduating in May. Very <laughs> me to good. Uh, I did a bachelor's in business statistics. But when, when I was at campus, um, I got introduced to a lot of online work and I fell in love with the online business world. So unfortunately, I may not practice statistics, but I applied a lot in my work because online work, I do a lot of analytics, studying and reports, but I'm really excited that I get to study a little bit of statistics in my online work. I wanted to create a hub of advice, knowledge, skills and change. Some of the key issues that we address or hope to address are under categories such as health and fitness. Uh, health and fitness is our flagship product. I, I run fitness challenges for women and sometimes men also text me and they're like we want to be part of these weight loss programs and they are always welcome but majorly i do this for women because it's mostly us who are usually targeted there's usually a lot of body shaming i have been a victim of body shaming and i woke up and decided that i wanted to change my life and i started doing these fitness programs on my own so when I shared my story on social media, my friends and other people, they texted me, they're like, how did you do this? How did you start? So I came up with a program, fitness program, and a Bloom for Her to help women, you know, manage these challenges that come with weight and healthy eating and all kinds of things. So other categories that we look under, that we look at are skincare, love and relationships, business, travel, and social media. So in September 2020, Learn4Hard.com went live for the first time after years of planning because the initial idea was in 2018 and then just last year, that is when the domain went live for the first time and that was really a happy moment for me. I was so proud of myself because I had worked on this for quite a while. So I'll just tell you a little bit of my work. I am a full-time content creator and digital marketer. I, I use the internet to make money. You, I'm sure you have all seen TikTok, which is currently a trend. And I would like to tell you that people are making money off of these platforms, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook. You will see someone make a video that has one million views. So marketers are looking at this as an opportunity because if there are one million people watching someone's video, why can't I run an ad maybe like in the 10th second or in between the videos? So this is an opportunity for marketers to put their businesses out there. And that is why 
video content is selling. That is why TikTok took off and people are marketing all on there on Instagram, all video platforms. That is why they are growing so much. So I also create video content on YouTube and on Instagram. And this is a way for marketers and content creators to both earn because I don't advertise my business in his or her video and content creator also earns from that. You earn from, from your audience. I also manage social media platforms for different brands and a group point media, like I mentioned earlier. And I have also run several social media marketing campaigns on individually and under also group point media. We have worked on over 20 social media campaigns for both local and international companies. So this is how I, I make money online with, with Bloom for Her and also with my YouTube channel. These are some of the things that I do. One is social media marketing. So as an influencer, on, on average, I earn around $100 on one gig, but it depends on the amount of time. Like one gig can be, can be a week, others can be a whole month, others take to three months, six months, depending on how the, how the clients like you and if your goals match with their goals and how long they think that you can work together. So there is a lot of information out there on social media marketing. If you would like to learn more about how to advertise on social media or how you can get influencers to work with your business, you can just reach out to me or to my associate comfort out there. Then next, the, the other way I make money with Bloom for Heart is affiliate marketing. I use Bloom for Heart to earn commissions with affiliate links. So I am part of several affiliate programs. Um, I'm part of the Amazon Associates, Clickback Affiliates, and Share a Sale Affiliates. So how affiliate marketing works is basically you reach out to, to these agencies, they have companies under them. When, 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 you, when, you, when you sign up and you're accepted into the program, basically what you do is if you write a blog post or an article, you embed your affiliate link into your blog post and what will happen is, if I am reading through a post, let me say about these cameras, I'm giving a review about these cameras, I talk about all the features. If someone loves them and they click on a, a link embedded within that article and they buy some of the equipment to be used along with this camera using my name, I will earn money and these are really good ways to earn money if you have a little traffic on your website and you can also use affiliate links in your stories in your instagram stories any clickable place that has a clickable link you can use it with your affiliate links to earn money uh, next is brand partnerships that is also a great way to earn money so my youtube channel bloom for her is basically using this so much like I said, I'm currently running a weight loss program and I'm looking for her. So my YouTube channel is not yet monetized. So how do you know a monetized YouTube channel? You have seen, I know everyone watches YouTube. So if you see, if you open a video on YouTube and you see an ad clicking, it means that that channel is monetized. It's, it's running ads and the owner of the account is getting paid whenever you watch the video. So now my account, my blog channel is not monetized, but it is earning money. How? When, when people believe in your work, they will support you all the time and in whatever you do. So my channel is not monetized, but this channel is making money. How? Through brand partnerships. Nestric March, which is a shop that sells all fitness items, all kinds of sports. They do swimming, they do gym, they do tennis, they have all these merchandise. They reached out to me and they're like, just promote us in your videos, give us a mention and let people know that we are backing you up in this program. They sponsored me, plus Alpha Gym on Weaver Road along in Timur Road. They sponsored me and the, I mean, I'm, I'm earning money off of this even though my YouTube channel is not yet monetized. So that is also another way that you can earn money with your content, with your channel. So these are some of the other ways that you can make money. And I really think these are good and women can take advantage of this because most times, take an example of myself, 
I had all these brands and businesses running and my dad does not even have any idea. I did this and he does not know why because most times when you talk to parents, I want to start a business and I want to be like, why are you going to get the money? Well, I mean, who's going to give you that money? Can you run a business? <laughs> like no one really believes in you, but it's, it's beautiful what the online world has brought to us that you can do all this with your phone or with your computer and you can run a whole business and make money and no one will even need to know, you won't even have to advertise, you know, I have a business, come to my shop. I mean, it's beautiful, so there are no limitations. Yeah, I mean, the setup costs are really not that big as, as long as you have internet and, and your PC, you can really set up something on your own. So these are other ways that women can, can make money. Just anyone can make money online. The YouTube partnership program, like I said, YouTube pays everyone who owns a channel and has over a thousand subscribers and has passed 4,000 watch hours in the last 365 days. Now that is technical, but I'm not on the YouTube partnership program, but as long as you have reached their criteria to be part of that program, YouTube will pay you for all the ads. For all the ads they run on your YouTube videos. The other way that people can make money online through Google Ads, you, if you go to a website, I'm sure you have seen pop-ups of maybe book a holiday somewhere or do something or buy this meal. Now those pop-up ads are by Google. Google has systems and all these computer technical things, but even if you are in Uganda and an ad is from like a different place, they will target the, the specific audience that comes to your website and they will make sure that the people that view that ad are the right people that are supposed to view it. All that is technical, but as long as you, you have a website and it, it matches their standards, and they accept to run ads on your, on your website, Google will pay you for those ads. So the other way, six, the other way you can make money online is through selling digital products. Now this, this is really one of my favorite and this is what I'm planning to, to go into very soon. So digital products include ebooks, e-guides, online courses, and memberships. There's, there's, uh, there's a woman I follow, she is, She's an online coach, her name is Marina Di Giovanni. She made one million dollars within six months of launching her business. And I think that was really awesome. Through through online products, ebooks, just one ebook can make you that much money a lot of time. I can imagine how many of us have thought of making one million dollars in just a short amount of time. It, it looks like a dream, like something that is impossible. But because of these online systems, as long as you have clear funnels and a dedicated team and all your people know what they want. I believe the online way, the, I mean, this is the easiest way to grow an online empire. Well, what, one thing I love about making money online is that it's really not that hectic so, uh, as compared to setting up a physical business because if you're to get a physical, you wouldn't think about rent, Premi says, inventory, you need to holding and transportation costs, you need to think about utilities, water and all these things. But for if you're to set up an online business, the basic things you will need really are internet and computer in perfect working conditions. So really as I conclude, I just want to say that nothing can be done unless you start. I know a lot of young women like me who are always worried if, when they want to start something, they're like, but I don't have this, I don't have this. When I started my, my content creation journey, I had a techno phone, which was not so good with, with camera, and you know when you upload a video, the, the, the quality kind of reduces. So even 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 though my, my video quality was not on point and everything was not perfect, I, I, I just started with what I had. Most people want to first save a lot of money to start. You want to first have a good iPhone or you want to start with this camera. If you wait to set up to buy this camera to start, whatever you want to start, you might never start. So start with anything that you have and I mean, the sky is the limit. You never know what will happen. I have friends, they do content creation and people have their videos and they send you stuff. Someone from America will just say, send me a location, I'm going to send you equipment. You don't know what's going to happen. So. 
just start and do your thing. Thank you so much. Happy Women's Day. I'm Joya Katukunda with you.